Right now, we're going to tell you the winners of that Inner Tribe Challenge. They were actually announced, the Startup Challenge, they were announced last night. And here to tell us a little bit more about the Startup Challenge itself and who were the finalists and how they arrived at the winners are Nectarius Leolius, and he is, uh, I don't have a job title here for you, but uh, I would say inner tribe guy extraordinaire. How about that? Like that. <laughs> with, <laughs> with the start of challenge. <laughs> Take it, it's yours. And he's here with a couple of the winners that he will introduce. Robert is closest to him and then John. Did I get that right? Yes, yeah. Correct, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so tell us about the start of challenge. Uh, the start of challenge is the initiative of inner tribe to try to bridge between the financial industry executives and entrepreneurs because historically they have no means of interacting. Mm -hmm. A startup doesn't get any access into a bank. Mm -hmm. A bank doesn't really have the mechanisms to engage with startups, filter the good ones out. Mm -hmm. and, and Swift as a cooperative that everybody likes talking to is uniquely positioned to build this bridge. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a program we started uh, trying to build an ecosystem that embraces everybody in mm -hmm. this space, mm -hmm. including academia, including tech firms, uh, and, and investors, the investor community. So the program started three years ago in this format where we scout around the world, try and find the best and brightest, mm -hmm. take them through an online screening process where we use a community of people mm -hmm. that we have, which are all senior banking executives, uh, senior uh, people from uh, the consultancies mm -hmm. who understand innovation mm -hmm. and, and select a smaller group of companies that pitch locally and mm -hmm. we have got three regional showcases in London, New York and Singapore. Mm -hmm. And then we pick the five best of the three locations take them to Cybos and put them in front of an audience that grills them. Okay, and I know they have to present, it's it's like, the, I don't know if a lot of people know that program, the Dragon's Den, Absolutely. that runs in the UK, so they have to present, so it was pretty nerve wracking, I'd imagine. What what did you make? You've got two winners, because you've got two categories uh, of uh, that, that you choose winners from. So you started with 200 entries, that then whittled down to 15 finalists, and now you've got these two guys, winners. What did you win? So you've got Robert and John. Robert, what did you win? Uh, we won the, the startup uh, category, which is for the, the newer companies, smaller companies. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, th th I think. Tell us about your company. What does what, okay. What's it called and what does it do? So, we, we are ClickX. Uh, mm -hmm. ClickX is a trading system uh, for a peer to peer currency exchange and mm -hmm. settlement, but we've recently extended that into interbank clearing and mm -hmm. actually quasi-central banking services as well. Okay, so, so tell me what does that mean in English? Uh, <laughs> in English, <laughs> that bankers will understand, it's a CLS, or continuous link settlement for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it means that there is now no longer counterparty risk when doing foreign exchange transactions. Mm -hmm. So uh, in a world of financial uncertainty, we bring a lot of certainty. Mm -hmm. ClickX is part of the early stage category. Mm -hmm. We call them startups. Mm -hmm. Um, the, they need to be younger than three years mm -hmm. and have less than a million US dollars in, in the last 12 months as, as revenue or, or funding. The later stage category can be any maturity, any funding, and as long as the product is innovative and relevant for the financial industry. Okay, so let's get to you, John. What's your company and, and what do you guys do? So the company I'm with is company Waratech and we're headquartered in Dublin, Ireland, uh, but we have a team spread around the world. And so we won the innovator category, which is the, the latest stage category of the inner drive competition. Um, but we help, and the, the proposition we bring is we help banks and financial institutions dramatically cut the cost of their IT infrastructure mm -hmm. by driving the cost of operating Java applications to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, and Java is such a pervasive uh, programming language and environment for these banks and these organizations. It is everywhere, uh, huge sunk investments. But as we move to an era of virtualization and cloud computing, the industry is starting to recognize that Java hasn't evolved and adapted with those, with those changes. It's mm -hmm. very old. And so there's a great big opportunity, but more importantly, a great big need in the industry to be able to address these challenges, be able to increase the efficiency, the, the, the lightweightness of these Java applications mm -hmm. to continue to drive down the cost. And that's what we're all about, mm -hmm. uh, is driving down that cost to zero. How, how important is, is this win, and, and in fact, how important have uh, former wins at Inner Tribe been because I'd imagine there'd be uh, a lot of attention with that particular those particular people who won and then maybe even buyouts. The reason we don't have a cash prize for the later stage mm -hmm. category is because everybody does it for the exposure. Mm -hmm. The cash prize is a nice to have. Mm. Um, people come to us because they see the opportunity to talk to a wide range of potential partners, customers. Mm -hmm 
and investors. Mm -hmm. um, in the last three years, we've seen about 800 companies, out of which we know that there's been um, exits or further funding in the region of 200 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. The biggest success, success story was the win of the Toronto um, mm -hmm. uh, competition, who had a buyout of 50 million US dollars. So there is a financial mm -hmm. consequence out of this, but there is generally, for the, especially for the early stage players, mm -hmm. it is really as meet your business partners, meet potential customers. The winner of last year, um, which was in the early stage, a company called Play Moulin, a Singaporean mm -hmm. company that provides financial education software mm -hmm. for kids based on gaming techniques. Mm -hmm. They got into partnership with the bank at the regional challenge. Now they're rolled out across the online platform of that bank. Okay, so John, not $50,000 this time, but $50 million maybe <laughs> in the next couple of years. Come back and tell us about that. I'd just be interested to get your thoughts, because it's quite nerve-wracking, isn't it? You're out there pitching your wares, if you like, to senior players uh, across the industry. What are some of the lessons learned and advice for Inner Tribe Startup Challengers 2014? What are some of the advice you'd like to give them? Uh, put your heart into it and go for it. Um, the support we get from the Intertribe guys is fantastic, so we've basically been nurtured for almost a year since mm -hmm. we first applied. You know, the feedback's always uh, critical uh, mm -hmm. in a very positive way. Uh, so you really shape what you're talking about and you hone your product through their expertise that they are connected into this mm -hmm. financial community, so they really drive you in the right direction. Uh, so listen to them, uh, develop well, I think, as well as winning the end prize, I also won the unofficial award of most improved presentation from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, these, these guys have been fantastic. Yeah. So listen to what they say and follow through. It's, uh, and that's you've done really well today, so I can't believe you even you were even in the running for having to improve your presentation, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what would be uh, the advice you give? Um, uh, certainly listen to, listen to people who are in the field. So listen to your customers. I know it's, well, it's, 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 it's often said, but I think it's very important, particularly for a startup. You tend to be often on the younger age. Certainly mm -hmm. that's the case, I think, for both of us. Uh, and so you don't come with the pedigree and the background and the mm -hmm. experience in the industry. Uh, and that is a, that's both a benefit and it's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a benefit because you can think outside the box, you can think liberally, but you need to continually test sanity check uh, your assumptions, the way you see the world, the way you're interpreting an opportunity and a problem, uh, and validate that with the people who live and breathe in that space every day. And I think the mm -hmm. biggest advice I can give is always listen to your customers, trial and error. Uh, take your ideas as they're evolving and bounce them off people who are in the space you're targeting and listen to what they say, pay mm -hmm. attention to it. And okay. then when you get to, to Inner Tribe, they'll help you too. Okay, well, congratulations to you both and uh, don't spend it all at once. <laughs> and uh, we'll hear more from Inner Tribe throughout uh, the rest of the conference. I know there'll probably be some more activities that you're doing.